Hey guys, it's time to fill the pantry again. We're going to can up some beef patties today. Grab your aprons and your jars and let's get busy. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Have y'all been working on your preps? Have you been working on filling your pantry? Well, that's what I'm getting ready to do today. I went to the store and bought two 10-pound chubs of hamburger. They had it on sale for $1.99 a pound. So I bought two of the 10 pounders. So I'm getting in there today and going to can up some hamburger. In my pantry, I do can hamburger by itself. So I can use that in spaghetti sauce or tacos or soup or what have you. But you kind of get tired of the same thing all the time. So I said, I'm going to patty out some hamburger and we're going to do these jars like that. So anyway, let's get in the kitchen and get busy, y'all, because it's going to be an all-day affair. Okay, here's one of my 10-pound chubs that I have sitting out working on the others in the refrigerator. But I wanted you to see that I have started patting out. And I use my ring to my pint jars. And you're going to need wide mouth jars. And I do all of mine in pints because it's just Tim and I. And so we'll um, patty them out. We're going to par cook them, and then we'll start adding to the jars. Okay, guys, here is the par cooked hamburgers that I made. And I wanted to tell you, this is not 80-20 hamburger. This is the um, little bit fattier hamburger here. And I patted these out in the pint rings. Then I put them in my frying pan, and I par cooked them. Do not mash them down. Just cook them as they are, and then they're going to fit in your pint jars. And then we're going to doctor them up and put them in the canner. In the jars are four to five patties, some onions, some bouillon, and some water to the one-inch headspace. Debubble, clean your rims, add your lids, fingertip tight up there, throw them in your canner. I've got three quarts of water in here and I do have a 23 quart presto canner and when you're double stacking make sure you have your piece on the bottom to set your jars on and the divider in the center place your lid on let it come up to okay, pressure guys I don't know if you can see that quite well but there is my steady stream coming through there so I'm going to count down 10 minutes and then we're going to put the magic magic weight on there so we'll be back in 10. so a little thing here popped up and i'm putting this on here and now we're going to be waiting for this to get up to 10. it can go to that little black dot do not let it go any further than that little black dot past the 10. you got to start playing with your temperatures on your stove so it stays in between the 10 and that dot right past it. So now I'm just sitting here waiting for my pressure to get up to 10. And then I'm going to start cutting my fire down so it will maintain. Okay, guys, I have reached the little over 10 pounds of pressure. So I'm going to make sure it doesn't go past that black dot to the right. I'm going to try to keep it in between the 10 and that black dot for 75 minutes. So I'll see you when it's time to take these jars out. Uh, so I just wanted you to see, I have it in between the two black lines at the 10 pound of pressure in between and it's staying steady right there. So I do have my temperatures right. And I should be able to wing it for 75 minutes. Okay, I forgot to show taking them out of the pressure canner. Make sure you pull that lid away from you when you take it out. So none of the steam or the water will fall on you. But this is the finished product. Now we're just waiting for them to seal. You're going to see them all bubbly and everything. Um, there's plenty of juice in there to grab you some gravy mix and make you some gravy and pour over them once you get ready to eat. Happy eating, y'all. Can you up some hamburger? Fill that pantry. We'll see you on the next video. Bye now.